good afternoon friends hoping all of you are doing good now my name is anand kumar sahu and i am gs expert now today i will show you one demo on how to create simple buffer so for that we require a toolbox here is my folder anand model uh, this is model builder 100 and in this previously i have created tools so here is anand model builder tbx now i will show you how to create simple buffer so if you right click if you open it it will show you geoprocessing tool as a buffer and these are your output this is input this is feature type and this is your distance linear values linear unit now if you again go to this tool same tool and if you right click and if you click on edit here is the tool here is this model so if you run that model in this catalog it will appear as this geoprocessing tool so it will work as a geoprocessing tool and if you click on this on edit you will get this editing means uh, this model now here what I have done is I have taken two tools first go to geoprocessing right and go to this buffer tool first we have to take this buffer and uh, and second I have to iterate it over the feature data set so here is my buffer so what I have to do is I will explain you how this how this buffer is working you just go and type buffer just drag and drop it here right so it is showing buffer c same buffer this is buffer this is output feature class and now i want to iterate if you want a simple buffer in a linear fashion you can give any input it will create your output buffer but if you want to iterate it you require an iterator so go to iterator but already I, I have used iterator here so it is not displaying right so I have to delete this iterator so I am deleting this iterator whole thing I have deleted now go to iterator iterate feature class so this is your iterate feature class see this is your iterate feature class so what it will do is it will iterate your feature data set it will iterate to your feature data set now if you right click if you click on this right click and open it it will show you parameters as input features output feature class distance linear unit side is full and type is round method is planar dissolve type none these are all the parameters which you can set as per your uh, this now input feature if you want you can directly put your input features and output feature class here or if you want to make it as a parameter means parameter means it will appear in a geoprocessing tool as a, a variable now go to this create variable from parameter input feature so this is my input feature right this is simple input feature if you right click variable from parameter if you want any uh, field to be involved means so side like site type so this is my site type so this is my site type this is my input feature this is your buffer input feature here it is showing none output feature none distance none everything is none so I have to provide your input features to this buffer so that I will get your output feature class buffer output feature class but if suppose your uh, data set is having more uh, feature uh, classes then it will require to iterate so here in iterator also if you click on open it is asking you workspace or feature data set in which you want to iterate in which and uh, this is your feature type in which feature you want to iterate like line point polygon junction edge this is the feature type so here also 
if uh, we click on this from parameter like feature type I want as a lines so here is my feature type and here is my from model workspace feature data set so this is my feature data sets in which I want to iterate now I want to make it as a parameter this should be parameter right. now this feature class should be the input so I am deleting this and making this as input so this will become the input of the buffer right now name is should also be uh, you can also use name uh, for uh, getting buffer names so for that I am using I am opening a feature output class here it is showing your default path but I want that buffer to be in my folder so we have this PC and F model builder and red yeah in clip no I don't want in clip so here is buffer and uh, output feature class you uh, you can write is as a name so that it can take the value of feature class it can take the name of the feature class whatever be the feature class uh, it is iterating it will take the value of that it will take the name of that feature class linear units I want uh, as a linear unit uh, as a field or you can choose as a linear to only, only in meters you, I want meter site type etc this you can here here it will ask you site type if you make it as a parameter it will ask you site type so th this is my simple buffer now you have to validate once so I, I have used two things buffer and iterate feature class now uh, site type uh, again go to this site type so it is showing right now I will learn this tool here in model builder here it is in buffer so I go to this in buffer yes you right click and you run it open it now see it is uh, 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 it is showing output input because this is showing previ my previously created buffer tool now I have to save it save as and uh, buffer test so this is my buffer test right and uh, you have to validate it and now you right click and refresh it buffer test so this is my buffer test if you right click open it see it is showing feature this workplace of feature data set right if you and uh, here is iterator this is feature type so I have to provide data set on which I want to iterate so I want to iterate on, part on some data set so here go to this uh, and this PC F and I want to iterate on some data set so I will require some data set so I will choose some data set to iterate here I am choosing uh, one data set as boundary this is my boundary data set which contains polygon feature feature type is polygon because this boundary contains polygon features side is full or uh, we want this side as full because boundary so it is showing full if I run it of a test field why it is failed see distance value is required because we have not given the distance value so in this you have to give the distance value or you can make it as a parameter uh, distance value so now this will become your parameter right and uh, now you save it again we will learn C 
save it and validate it now again go to this catalog buffer test open uh, wait uh, I will refresh it first refresh it then open it right uh, distance you make it as a parameter now save it go to catalog refresh it for test it is showing workspace now my workspace is my boundary or you can choose as transport route right feature type is your uh, line and uh, meet you can choose as a meter distance is about suppose 50 meters buffer you want if you run it Yes, it is creating a safe file in this folder model builder 100 model 100 so let's check again go here refresh it so see it has created all the safe files so again go to map drag and drop road center line and this zoom to layer see it has created these buffers mm. I think these all are blank blank so in this way it has iterated all these feature classes and it has created all these safe files in the desired location again go to catalog So I'm deleting this all. Now again go to catalog. This is my test buffer and edit it. So this is my simple buffer. Now if you want to rename, you can rename as feature workspace feature data set or input data set. You can write rename is at input data set. Input feature data set. Input feature data set and uh, this is ok distance is ok now if you save it I'm validating it again go and open see now the name is coming as input feature data set so friends this is all about buffer data set in my next video I will explain you about clip clip analysis and how to create feature class to feature class merge tool and sorting, splitting and there are many other models which in our next video I will explain you all this step by step now thank you very much for viewing my videos thank you thank you